For every new update that Northwood gives us for Secret Lab, the playable SCPs always receive new reworks. This can be seen from the Scopophobia update, Parabellum update, and the Mimicry update. All of these updates gave way to new reworks for SCPs in-game. That being said, there are two SCPs that, for all of the reworks that we've been getting in recent times, have not really been touched too much. I thought it'd be fun to make two videos just going through maybe how we could see 106 and 049 being reworked. And this part one will be focusing on 106 while I'll get the, hopefully soon, the uh, 049 video uploaded on a later date. So without further ado, let's skip the mumbo jumbo the intro and get straight down to what I think I would like to see for a 106 rework. Number one, make the map better. And when I say the map, I mean like 106's ability to be able to teleport anywhere. I'll put it on screen now because I forgot what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about where you can pull up the map and teleport to a different room in whatever zone he is. I hate the current map system he has. Like, it's so bad. Like, I cannot even ex express how much I've hated it. Like, it took me so long to even notice that there is a reticle, a small dot on the map to indicate that that is where you are currently are. I remember for the longest time, I didn't even know what room I would be in when every time I pull up the map, when like it was all zoomed out, when you had like the, uh, your, your ability charged up fully. Like, it, it's so bad. Like, please, you know, for my first idea I, to just rework 106, just make the map more usable by giving us a better reticle system to indicate where we are maybe highlight it more make it bigger and also have it so it wherever you're pointing wherever you're facing it like points that reticle in that direction on the map too so like it's just super you know help it's just more helpful you know usable i, I don't know what to tell you i i just really hate the map and you know we're gonna get straight onto idea number two right away uh let 106 use his map on surface so i think it's you know pretty common knowledge that scps in general are at their weakest usually at surface zone especially when it's like a whole MTF or Chaos Wave that just spawns in. But my god, 106 sucks in that surface zone. He just can't even use his map, which is so stupid. Like, yeah, he could go in stock mode, which is, you know, good, I guess, good enough. But, like, it's not enough, you know? Like, especially once the nuke goes off, it's like you can only be in surface zone. So what are you going to do then? I mean, you know what I mean? It's just, it's trash, you know? Just give us, just, just give us something to like work with here in surface zone so yeah that's basically i think my first two ideas number one just make the map overall better for 106 his uh, map ability and then number two uh actually let him use that ability on surface zone i think those two's hand in hand would like they go hand in hand together but then also would just make 106 infinitely better i think just more playable and just more like new players and maybe returning players would like be able to look at it and be like okay yeah i i know this this looks more usable it's more user friendly you know it's, it's people can actually figure out what to do with it because even for me as veteran player who has i think what well, i at this point i think i throw over 300 hours in this game and i've been playing this game since 2019 like it took me a while when they implemented the current 106 we have now with his like new abilities it took me a while to even figure out how to properly use the map system because it's just so badly unoptimized that, you know, if I couldn't even, it took me a while to figure out. And it's like, dude, imagine new players or returning players. Like, they will probably have a difficult time with it. So I think first two things, first two ideas is just would make the game so much better. Or at least for 106, just it would make him so much better. But anyways, enough of me ranting about the map, about his uh, map ability. Let's actually get on to the, some more fun ideas that I have here. So for idea number three, uh, update the pocket dimension. Uh, to be more expansive with different hallways and different rooms basically just making the actual dimension you know a real kind of more dimension like you know actually have it be more than just a one room with eight different corridors that you know is a one in eight chance of killing you or letting you escape or whatever you know I don't know I just think it'd be fun if the pocket dimension actually felt like its own dimension so a separate world where if you got transported in it like you had to go through different corridors and stuff like that. You may, maybe you'd have to solve some puzzles to escape, or like, or just a puzzle to escape. Or maybe there'd be like a secret like hallway, or like there'd be a specific like a maze. Maybe a maze. So you have to like follow a specific path to escape. I don't know. Just make the pocket dimension more interesting. Really, is all I have to say. Obviously, the bigger the pocket dimension would be, like the more explorable area it is. I feel like you would have to nerf it by making it so the players don't die as fast in the pocket dimension itself. 
so Odkins on then obviously it's like if even if the pocket dimension was the pocket dimension was huge if they have the current system in place where like you die pretty quickly it, it would be useless so you know probably have to nerf the damage in the pocket dimension for players but just make it actual like an actual explorable area like a maze like place i don't know it's just make it interesting it's just so lame like i understand why don't get me wrong and like i wouldn't be surprised if they never change the pocket dimension if they keep it as at least the pocket dimension map we currently have now if they keep it the same for years and years to come in the future but me personally i really think the pocket dimension could use a rework in terms of its map design and you know i think this goes along with my fourth idea allow 106 to go into his own pocket dimension i mean i don't see why he shouldn't be able to go into his own pocket dimension give him an ability that just lets him teleport into his pocket dimension even if you don't rework the pocket dimension right if you just keep it as the basic map that it is just let him go in it and then you know if he goes in it the pocket dimension he could just you know taunt the players in there and then maybe he could actually if he goes in the pocket dimension and then hits the player one more time in the pocket dimension that fully kills them it should make it so you they have no chance of escape you know that way you don't have to worry about like let's say you kill the last player on them like that's alive but like you also know like ah, it's been a while there might be a spawn wave happening right about now and like if he stalls out in my pocket dimension or escapes I won't win so then let you know give 106 the ability to go into his pocket dimension and finish the job right and then obviously in order to balance it you'd have to make it so the ability would be on cooldown and he can't be in the pocket dimension for you know an infinite amount of time there should probably be like a time limit to how long he'd be in there before you know you auto get booted out because obviously then the, if you don't do that the problem would be like 106 would just camp there and no one would ever kill him but so you know you'd have to balance it out a bit but just give him the ability to go in right like I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, right? I just, it just makes sense, right? So, just, you know, why, like I said, like with idea 1 and 2 being hand in hand, idea 3 and 4 are also kind of hand in hand together. Now, for idea number 5 I have for reworking 106, make him leave behind a corrosion effect wherever he goes, right? So obviously in lore, in SCP lore, anything 106 touches pretty much leaves a deadly corrosion effect. I think it'd be pretty interesting to put that, you know, idea into the game and gameplay. Obviously, this maybe would be too OP for if it's like if, it's, if it includes his footsteps. But I think at the very least, this should include leaving an effect, a corrosion effect, anywhere he passes through. So any doors or gates he goes through, or windows, I guess too. I think you go through windows. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think windows too count. So gates, doors, maybe windows, and uh, any floor, like any surface area that he teleports in and out of, or that he catches a player and takes them into the bucket dimension from, right? So all of that, basically any any of those things, it leaves behind a corrosion effect. And kind of like, I guess, 173's uh, poop ability. If players touches it, you know, it gives them negative effects, except instead of them, it maybe it's slowing, maybe it could slow you down, but instead of it only slowing you down, it could also be like, it messes, like it, it gives you another effect, like it maybe you lose a little bit of damage, and the more you stand in it, the more damage you lose, something like that. Basically just avoid it, right? Like don't touch any of the corrosion that 106 leaves behind, because you know, in lore, right? It's kind of a deadly effect, right? So you don't want to touch it. I think that'd be interesting. Basically make it so, uh, you know, 106 leaves behind, he leaves behind anywhere he goes. He kind of leaves behind like corrosion that over time could affect, you know, you know, the human players negatively and could alter the gameplay a bit. Obviously, I don't think it should last there forever. The corrosion probably should go away. I have kind of like how 173's, you know, poop goes away after a certain amount of time. His corrosion should probably dissipate after a certain amount of time you know obviously to balance it but i just think leaving behind corrosion and that if corrosion affecting players negatively would probably help a lot with also just with just making 106 you know more difficult to deal with right because anywhere he goes makes it more of a pain in the ass for them for like mtf to try to like kill him or whatever so yeah that's idea number five right there for my next idea I think it'd be interesting if 106 has an ability to target a specific player, similar to one, uh, currently 049 has an ability like that where he can target a player he's looking at. Give something like that to 106. Uh, maybe it's like exactly like 049's where you have to look at a player to target them, or maybe you just hit it and it automatically starts targeting some random player in the map. But basically, once 106 has you know a target, just give him a maybe a temporary stat boost e uh, until either he kills his target or his target survives a given amount of time, kind of like. 049s like I said before basically while a human is targeted I think it'd be interesting if they gain effects like certain effects psychological type effects 
where it's not necessarily them losing makes like damage but it's them like in i guess in speaking lore wise the player or the human knowing that 106 is looking at them it's he's targeting them he knows where they are but they don't see 106 but they know 106 is somewhere nearby or at least in the general area and is targeting them specifically maybe like the negative effects could include maybe temporary blindness or like tunnel vision type blindness maybe it's like your, your character gets paranoid so like they start hearing more ambient sounds that aren't actually happening that other people can't hear but only you can hear them so like it messes with your audio and obviously and secret lab audio is very crucial to gameplay you want to always be able to hear things so if you're being targeted by 106 with this ability and you're hearing extra loud ambient sounds it's like it messes with your mind it's like you don't know what's real anymore right basically things like that i think that'd be pretty interesting pretty cool it would make dealing with 106 even like just scarier and more deadly which i honestly would love because at least for any person i feel like 106 is like he's not the face of secret lab when it comes to the scps but i feel like he's i don't know he's like the tank i guess in a way he's like the tank of secret lab like 106 is like the tank i feel like he, he he's kind of like the boss right when it comes to scps and i feel like just giving him all of these like giving him an ability where it kind of like messes with players like that i, I think it'd be really interesting because it just it makes him more of a menace that he already kind of feels like he is or at least what i think he should be like a menace right that's my idea behind that and i guess in a it in a broader sense to all of my ideas of his rework or his potential rework but yeah that's basically uh that idea right there uh for my final idea i have something pretty simple that i don't know this might be a bit controversial but um it re-implement the freedom breaker right S simple as that re-implement it i get why they got rid of it it's a broken or it was a broken mechanic that just made anyone playing as 106 kind of hate it because it was like even though like you kind of were like i guess the tankiest SCP in a way where like you know obviously like at least back then i think he was a tankiest scp at the time when the fever rate was still implemented it's like there was no point because you'd, you'd get like one d-boy or like two d-boys right and then like all of a sudden they would both escape and then you'd be dead because of the femur breaker right but i think if northward re-implements the femur breaker and that just makes it so that the free containment procedure of 106 is actually more complicated that would probably help balance it out so basically instead of it being where two people just go into 106's room one person uh you know just sacrifices themselves and the other just hits a button right that's super lame super broken super stupid make it actually like a, a puzzle or like an actual like not like a, i guess a puzzle in, in short in simple terms right make it so like at least you need at least maybe let's say three people to go in right one person to go inside the femur breaker but then two people to actually operate the procedure to actually like pull it off successfully you would have to maybe first of all make sure that 106's uh, containment chamber is fully prepped and ready which could take some time then after that you would have to set it down so it's on the floor and ground level so once the femur breaker is activated you can go and uh, you know use it maybe you have to activate all three generators in order to gain power throughout the system or throughout the uh, facility so then you could activate the intercom from 106's room right so then you could the femur breaker could work like just make it a complicated procedure that requires a lot of steps where it also where it requires a lot of stuff, but also a lot of cooperation between, you know, MTF or even MTF and D class and stuff like that, right? Like you need to cooperate in a big capacity in order to pull off the femur breaker. Like it shouldn't be something that you could pull off in like the first two minutes of the gameplay. It should be something that should take place throughout the course of the entire round. I think that would help, you know, alleviate the uh, the balancing for the femur breaker for recontaining 106. Because I think like it should still be in game like I, I know why like uh it got you know taken out but like it's such a like the film breaker is such a core aspect of 106's lore and not having it in the game anymore kind of feels lame but yeah i just think adding the film breaker and just making it just a general mechanic that's an actual procedure that takes you know maybe even potentially a whole the whole entire round to pull off successfully just would uh, would help uh the balancing with 106 especially if let's say they over buff him right like they give him all like not even like let's just say northwood gives him like a whole like list of new abilities and stuff like that and like he's super tanky it's really hard to kill him by normal means you know you know my favorite breaker idea it's, you know it would help balance it out i'm just all that's all i'm saying guys you know i'm just all i'm saying but anyways yeah thank you all for watching so much i appreciate all the support i appreciate the support and the, you know the views and everything from last last uh video last my last secret lab speculation video uh you know 
I'm happy to see that people enjoyed it, that people at least found it interesting, right? So hopefully uh, this these, uh, this two-part uh, video series of just me going over 106 and 049's potential reworks would also be fun. You guys hopefully will enjoy it too. If you know you guys have, you know, you want to talk about what you would like to see maybe in future video ideas of, uh, you know, speculating about Secret Lab or, you know, just what you would like to see for reworks for, you know, SCPs in general and stuff like that, you know, just leave it in the comments below, you know, just start a conversation, you know, write those ideas out there, you know, maybe who knows. By some miracle someone in Northwood would watch this video maybe will help give them ideas to then maybe implement to future additions for a secret life you know we never know we never know our voices all matter at the end of the day and we should spread our voices so yeah uh, sorry about the commentary if it sounds bad on this one I'm a bit sick so my voice might sound off and like uh, you know I'm not in optimal shape to be talking a lot but also I gotta leave now in like uh, uh, 10 minutes as I'm uh, writing this and I gotta really pee before I leave so uh, yeah so I gotta go guys so thank you all for watching and you know enjoying the video talk to y'all later see ya